hello. We're going to draw the really awesome teddy bear today. Let me get my camera all situated. I am so glad you guys are uh, joining me today. Here, let me get this. There we go. Aha! I'm getting better and better at this YouTube live webcast. See, welcome to Mark Kistler Live. Yay, that's me. We're going to be drawing a really great teddy bear. I'm proud of you for accepting the 30 drawings in 30 days challenge. Yeah, we're going to inspire your creativity. We're going to ignite your imagination. If you have a good time today, share this with your friends. All right, well, let's go ahead and get uh, drawing. We're going to spend about uh, 12 to 15 minutes. Let me switch the camera right here. And we're going to draw our YouTube live teddy bear. Now, the one that you're seeing on the screen is one that I drew for my guest appearance at the Texas Renaissance Festival coming up in a few weekends. I'll Facebook out an announcement about that in just a little bit. But let me, uh, let me just adjust that. If you guys, I did open the chat, so if you want to send me a chat, uh, to say hi and uh, <laughs> let me know how everything's going um, and how you're drawing with me. I'd love to hear from you. All right. I think that there's there's the chat box. Cool. All right. Now, let's see, look, at this it still takes me a few seconds to get everything all organized. And I'm ready. Awesome. Now, if you have a good time with this drawing lesson right here, I'm going to show you um, at markkisselive.com how to take your drawings, draw it on thick um, index kind of cardstock paper and you can make really neat movies and paper puppets and all kinds of cool characters and backgrounds all right well let's get going i have a fun drawing lesson planned for you guys here today and we're going to start get my paper set here and we're going to start with uh blocking it and we're going to shape it and block it excuse me all right here we go so right up here i'm going to start with a circle just block in the head see this is how artists a lot of artists and how i will begin a character what we're going to do is we're going to develop a little teddy bear character now you're going to be the author illustrators of the new generation you're going to be the movie directors and the digital game designers and the artists the graphic engineers the scientists the teachers and drawing in 3d is going to help you achieve achieve all those wonderful careers. You're going to be able to become a visual communicator. You're going to be able to communicate to people what you're thinking, what you're feeling, what your brain is is engineering. You're going to be able to express it on the paper in 3D. All right. So we block this in. I'm just sketching it very, very lightly. Light, light, light. Isn't that wonderful? From this very modest beginning, we're going to end up with a really cool looking little teddy bear. Isn't that fun? Now, to learn how to draw in 3D, you need to learn the 12 Renaissance words. And one of the 12, now these words are five. Now, watch this. I'm going to take this. I'm going to make this line just a little bit slanted here. Now, watch. Ready? I'm going to come down here. I call this direction south, east. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Just a little slant. Now, in this drawing direction compass, now you can get a print of this at markkissalive.com for all of you homeschool and classroom students that are members of my uh, Monday Art with Mark live webcast. These are the four positions that artists use most often when they're drawing a character, an object, or uh, objects in an environment. See this? We're going to put the feet of the teddy bear coming down here in direction southeast. Does that make sense? How these are the four, if you take a compass and you lie the compass down, you foreshorten it, you make this edge closer than this edge, these are the four positions that artists will use. So they'll put the feet in these positions, or they'll put the house in this position, or they'll put the trees in this, the tree roots. Let me show you an example of the tree roots in this position. Look at this. Here's my book you can draw in 30 days. This is a wonderful book. This is what I hope you all end up ordering. Get this from Amazon.com. Have this handy as a reference. Oh, go ahead. Get 10 copies. Ah, there's my shameless book plug. Every YouTube live webcast, I always do a shameless book plug. Look at this see the positions of the tree roots and then you we add in some imagination in this one and look at that look at those tree roots is that awesome or what all right so this is the drawing direction compass learning how to position objects or parts of an object on the paper to make one part look closer so we're going to position this foot with a four shortened circle see 
draw a nice four shortened circle this near foot right here see this we're going to position this closer and this one's going to be further away and higher up so well now here comes the word size one of those 12 renaissance words now if you guys are my my homeschool or classroom student members of mark kistler live um, what i want you to do is go to your membership page and print up the 12 renaissance words chart and print up the drawing compass chart so you have those now go uphill to the right now watch this this is called direction northwest I'm sorry, that's northeast. This is northwest. And then this foot's going to be smaller. This is another one of those Renaissance words. This is called size. This one's larger, this one's smaller, and it moves away. Okay. Now, right here, watch the top. The top's going to get a little bit smaller as you move down. See, it tapers just a bit. This one's going to come up here in direction northwest. Isn't that wonderful? Oh, my goodness. I want to say. <laughs> I, I want to say give me a happy face or a sad face or a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you're keeping up with me. But with YouTube Live, I don't, I, you don't have those little icons at the bottom to respond to me or I don't have the text box over there. I, on Monday, Art with Mark Mondays at my MarkKistlerLive.com, uh, MarkKistlerLive.com on my live uh, uh, membership site. Uh, you, we have total interaction. You can put your drawings on camera, and I can see your drawings, and you can wave to me. And we also have a map down there on the screen where you can see all over the world where the kids are drawing with they're from. It's so neat. So if you guys are enjoying this 30-day, 30 30-drawing 30 challenge, I would love you to become members of my MarkKisslerLive.com student group. We have over uh, 1,300 students. We had... Over the course of the last three years, we've had over 5,000 students around the world in every time zone drawing with us. So if you guys like what you're doing here and you want to draw every Monday for a full hour and have a lot of live interaction with the icons and the text boxing and the camera, I would love to have you join up. Right now, it's only it's 50% off. It's $49 for the whole year, or $49.95. I can't remember what it is, but it's really, really great value because you get to draw with me every week for a couple hours, every Monday for a couple hours. Also, there's 100 hours of recorded lessons for you. All right, so let's put the face. I'm going to put the face on the table. Now we're detailing, and we blocked it in. We got the structure. This arm tapered out. It was larger, that size. This arm is really tiny back here, just waving. That's that word, the Renaissance word size. Doesn't that look funny, how that's so small? Here's a good example. This was this was created by a very dear friend of mine, Karen Little. And she she uh, was a mother of one of my students many, many years ago. <coughs> and she made this form because she really loved the mummy lesson. Now, we'll be drawing the mummy lesson in, in uh, the future in one of our lessons coming up. In fact, I was going to show you it. And, and I had, oh, here it is. Look, at, here's, here's, here's the mummy lesson we're going to draw. We're going to draw that in a future lesson. We're going to draw the pyramids. We're going to draw the hippopotamus. That, that's a lesson coming up. Uh, with the with the uh, YouTube live now watch the arm now watch this as he turns you see this arm is larger and this arm is smaller right now watch the other way let's do it again the other way look at this as this turns do you see that you see so you can that this arm is larger and you can see the end and this arm goes up curves away from you look at the eyes too this is a wonderful example of size see the eye gets smaller isn't that interesting look look at that eye it gets smaller and smaller and smaller isn't that fun or the feet, the same thing. That back foot tucks behind there. The back foot, see that? See it tucks behind there? Overlapping. I love having that 3D object to be able to explain and show you the real life application of these 12 Renaissance words. Now, these words have been around for 500 years. I did not invent them. I learned it from my teacher, who learned it from his teacher, who learned it from her teacher. Do you guys love this so far? Is this fun? If you can, send me a text. Oh, look at this. Look at our all the students we have watching. I'm so glad you guys are with me today. I hope you're having fun. Thank you for accepting the 30 day, 30 challenge, 30 day, 30 drawings challenge. Now look, I'm gonna put his ears on here. I'm gonna put this here a little bit smaller since it's turned just a bit away from you. Now, I really, I really did. See on this one? On my, uh, this is one of my large posters right here. You guys like this? You can go to my art gallery at my website and you get one of these autographed. Now, see how this face is turning over here to the, the right, so his eyes smaller and the ears smaller, tucked behind, and the the wing is smaller over here. This foot is smaller. That arm is smaller. 
that's the Renaissance word size. We're using that a lot. Near things are larger, okay? Let me zoom in just a bit more. <coughs> so that one's going to be tucked behind here, and this one's going to be a little bit larger. He's so cute. Look at that. Now, I, uh, I want to make his ear just a little bit smaller. If you make it too big, it kind of looks like a monkey, huh? So if you don't like the size, just just uh, just redraw it. Erase and redraw it. No problem. Don't don't get all anxious. Oh no, it's not perfect. Ah, don't freak out. No, my drawing's not perfect. It's ruined. Ah, don't stress out. It's okay. Just wave goodbye to stress. Let's <laughs> say bye bye stress. Stress is on the bus. This is our drawing lesson. Don't get anxious. It's all right. You're gonna get better and better and better every day you practice. This is the helix. This is the concha. Put a little shading under here. Your ear has that too. Doesn't that's a really important idea. It does not have to be perfect. Just relax. Enjoy the learning process. All right. Don't get all. I got an email. One of the uh, students was really going. Oh, my drawings aren't any good. They're, they're, they don't look as good as yours. Well. You guys, you girls and boys and moms and dads and grandmas and grandpas, I've drawn this teddy bear probably 6,000 times. I've been teaching drawing for 37 years, a long time, right? And some of my students are the animators that when they first started, they didn't think they could draw very well. But then, look at their, they're working on movies like Kung Fu Panda and Shrek and Madagascar, Tangled, Frozen. I've had some of my alumni students work on just about every one of your favorite animated movies. Isn't that exciting? I love, I love sharing that. That is just so cool. Isn't that cool? I remember when I saw the movie Madagascar, uh, it's like Madagascar 2 or 3, and uh, here, I'm going to put his face here. I was with my kids in, in Houston, and I saw the movie, and we went out into the parking lot after the movie, and I called up the director. He's an old student of mine in, in Hollywood, in California. So we were sitting in the parking lot. We were sitting in the parking lot. And uh, here, let's put the texture. I love the texture. We were sitting in the parking lot. We were talking to, in Texas and talking to the directors, telling them how cool uh, we were, <laughs> how, how great the movie was. I tell you, I thought I was the coolest cartoonist in that parking lot. Now, <laughs> for some reason, my kids weren't as impressed as I was. I was so impressed with myself that I could call the director. What do you think? Was that funny? Isn't that funny? We're looking around. Everybody enjoyed the movie so much. All right, now look, I'm going to put shading down here now. I'm going to use scribble shading. Watch this. I love this. I'm going to see what I'm doing. I'm making it dark underneath here, and it gets lighter as it comes up. I'm gonna make it dark down here. Here, let's put the texture. Oh, I love this one. Now, I get a lot of emails asking for those, uh, the uh, artist trading cards Oops, about getting a free one. I would love to send you a free one. You can ask for this one, put the teddy bear with wings on here. You can get the wormy worm or the fish negotiation or the sharks. I have 22. You can get a free one, one free per family, all right? If you want me to autograph an artist trading card for you, there's strings attached, though. There is a string attached. I want you to mail me one of your drawings. See, if you send me one of your drawings, I'll send you a free artist card, okay? Now, if you want to start a collection of my artist cards, I would love to sell you a few more. It helps me support me and my mission and my dream to teach millions of people how to draw. And I thank you, you parents and you teachers, for purchasing my books and purchasing my uh, artist trading cards. Thank you. Thank you so much. I love being a professional artist and having people appreciate my artwork. It's just such, such a thrill. Now down here, watch this. I'm going to put the sun's coming from this direction. The sun's up here coming down. So we're going to put a shadow cast onto the ground. <coughs> okay. Now look at it. Look at the time. I was. My goal always is to keep these to 15 minutes, and boy, is that hard, isn't it? That is such a hard goal to stick to because there's so much I want to share and tell you little stories. And look at this. Let's put a shadow nice and dark under here, and blend it out. Okay. Give me happy face or sad. Oh, you can't give me happy face or sad face. I keep forgetting. Oh, I've been doing the MarkKistlerLive.com. Art Mondays with Mr. Mark for three years, and I'm so used to asking happy face, sad face. But I tell you what, you can check that out if you want later on. Um, here, let's shade here. Now, let's go up inside here. 
look at this oh here there is one way you can share your artwork facebook me facebook the drawings all right take your drawing take a picture of your drawing F friend me on facebook look for the three birds behind a picture of me see this little picture of me here right there and then the not that's not really me but there's a photo of me the three birds that there's a thousand mark kistler so you have to pick the right one to facebook it's dark 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 down here it gets lighter as it comes up dark down here it gets lighter as it comes up and then let's put a horizon line back here let's put that horizon line that reference line okay so we know where the the teddy bear is sitting and look what i did on this one you see that see how i put that nice dark background behind him the teddy bear sitting there i just love this guy he turned out so great now when i was commander mark on the secret city we would put i, I created this character i invented this character called the unibear you could do that if you want. Look, at you could put this little unicorn horn. I don't know if any of your parents or teachers remember back in the 1980s and 90s of my PBS series called The Secret City. Do you remember the Unibear? Remember the Secret City mural? If you guys, if you want to see a really great image of the Unibear from many, many years ago, I think, the, oh my goodness, like 30 years ago, uh, the Unibear, unicorn horn on the bear. Isn't that fun? Isn't that wonderful? That was my little creation when I was... Uh, 20 21 years old I, I created that guy that shadow's a little too dark i think i'll lighten it up just a bit go to youtube and type in secret city mural i think you'll enjoy that immensely oh that is so great <coughs> i don't want to stop i'm going to just blend this a little bit okay let's in fact you, i'm going to use my finger i'm going to give i'm going to give my teddy bear just i'm going to use my finger you can, you can use your stompy or you can use your finger the Stompy, you have a little more control. You can buy these at an art supply store, okay? All right, well, hey, thank you very much for subscribing to my Mark Kistler Live YouTube channel. And thanks for sending your drawing to Self-Addressed MW to get yourself your little artist's autographed trading card. How exciting. And uh, take a look at uh, signing up for my Monday's Art with Mr. Mark on Mark Kistler Live. It's really, really a fun way to spend a couple hours every Monday interacting with me on camera and via text. All right, well, there you go. I love it. I love it. Our little little unibear friend, a little, that started as a regular teddy bear, but then I, I couldn't help adding the unicorn horn from the Secret City days. Well, you guys did fantastic. Thanks for drawing with me here. Let me get myself on camera so I can say farewell. Now, if you want to stick around for uh, another drawing, I'm going to draw a dragon lesson in just a little bit i'm going to come back on in just a few minutes i'm going to record a dragon drawing does that sound fun for you guys here let me put in my camera so i can wake up by there we go thank you for accepting this challenge 30 drawings in 30 days yeah i'm proud of you thanks for drawing with me i'll see you guys on the next youtube live webcast bye everybody